Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with another video. All right, so as most of y'all know uh, that I have bought a Troy Built Pony riding lime where I leave the link down in the description below where y'all can uh, check that video out. Uh, so I bought a Troy Built Ride Lime more off of uh, Marketplace for $450. I got it and I cut my grass, you know, whatever. It needed some blades. Okay. So I went and I bought a brand new blade for it. Uh, I bought air filter, fuel filter, and I also bought gator blades for it. So I was cutting my grass and anyway, my ride lawnmower started acting funny. It started kind of sputtering and acting funny. I I turned it off immediately. I thought it was maybe I was low on uh, fuel. Little did I know after pushing it into my garage, my workshop here, that this right here happened. There we go. Is that right there? This right here is called a push rod other than that right there it's fine uh again that's the damage right there i i had changed the oil in it and i was like you know freaking out i'm like i know i put the right amount of oil in it what i'm gonna do right now is but yeah i got a, a craftsman rod lawnmower i'm gonna pull the um rods out of it um and anyway this right here be my first time doing this so um i guess let's go ahead and let's get it on to the work surface over here and let's go ahead and uh let's see what we can get into all right so uh here's our sacrificial lamb again this right here come off the craftsman t150 this engine right here is uh 19 horsepower 19 and a half I don't know but anyway what I want to do is is I want to go ahead and I want to uh, crack this over overhead valve cover off my drill low all right so I uh, had to grab a, a 3 8 here so let's see I'm just gonna go ahead we're gonna crack these loose Uh, as some of y'all may may not know, I have uh, inflammation in my left arm right here as I'm using it to beat the hell out of this here to try to get this here off. And uh, yeah, so I have a hard time with my arms. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just uh, zip these here on off. Wow, that was barely even on there. Wow. So that right there uh, appears to be fine or whatever. What we we'll do is we will go ahead and we will put our bolts in this cover. Alright, so it looks like uh, we're going to need um, to get... Oh wow, that right there is real loose. Anyway, we need to go ahead, we need to get uh, this here on off, and um, you probably can't see it. I got a bad feeling about this. <sighs> oh wow, that right there was loose. This one here is loose too. Wow. So something's telling me that uh, these <clears throat> push rods here are not going to be the same. Just so that y'all know, uh, I am a noob at this. I don't really know or have an idea of what I'm doing. So uh, this right, right here is all new to me. Let's give this here a... Uh, a wipe down it's supposed to be a aluminum uh, push rod 
and it's also supposed to be a steel push rod I think this right here is gonna be our uh, steel push rod oh yeah and you got these uh, valve caps here you don't want to lose those so I'm just going to put everything right over here and you don't want them to go down here into the block I believe this right here is the uh, steel push rod let's give this a thorough wipe down and uh, I got a magnet right here yeah side of that magnet is sticking to that right there all right now here is our aluminum push rod all right so what I need to do is uh, are y'all even looking at what I'm doing here so what I need to do is is I need to see if these right here are the same all right so it looks like both of these push rods here this one to your what would it be your left uh, this right here is the bent one right here and then this right here is the one that we just took out let's make sure that uh, I'm correct okay yes I'm correct all right so my thing is what I want to do is see about stealing this push rod out of this uh, engine uh, I'm probably gonna have to do a little bit of research all right so uh, by by what I've been researching online uh, they say it would be best to go ahead and replace this whole entire block all right, so now what I'm about to do is I'm about to give y'all a close-up on how these uh, push rods, how they um, actually go in. So uh, let me go ahead and let me get you off the stand, and let's see it. All right, now you got three holes down up in here. All right, what you need to do is, is you need to take... Of course, this piece right here, it will be uh, installed and you need to feel for it. Boom, I got it up in there just like that. You need to make sure, damn sure that you get these uh, push rods back in like they're supposed to. Um, but again, yeah, you may, may not be able to see um, inside of there. Let me see if I can shine a little bit of light. The steel push rod. That's what I'm gonna use. That's my decision. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these uh, rocker arms here. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to put those on the, uh, these right here come from the Craftsman. Yeah, I think I'm gonna replace it because I smell it. And it's got some, it's got a burnt smell to it. I, this right here has got me a little concerned as well. Whenever I had uh, pulled this here off, this whole, this uh, entire piece here, I don't know the name of it. I'm a noob. So anyway, yeah, that whole assembly came out. I went ahead and I adjust the valves. I set both of them to four thousands so right here's a filler gauge so uh i had checked the spark plug and everything make sure that you do not cross thread the spark plug i got this thing here uh i think from lowe's i don't really like it but it's gonna have to do a job for this here so now I'm just going to put the boot back on. There we go. Snaps back into place. So now it's time for the moment of truth. We're going to see if this thing is going to fire up.
Okay, so before we fire this thing up, make sure we get all our tools out the way. I'm gonna crank it up and I'm gonna run it without the uh, valve cover on and it's not gonna hurt anything. It's gonna leak a little bit of uh, oil out. I just need to check this. Oh yeah, uh, before we start here, I want to mention um, you do not want to rev this up on full throttle. Uh, you don't want to choke it or nothing. Just unless you absolutely have to, but do not rev up the engine. So let's go ahead and let's give it a shot. I knew that was going to happen. See all the oil that's pouring out down here? That's normal, whatever. And all I'm doing is, is I'm just wiping this here uh, down, the muffler. Now I'm just going to uh, snug them up just a little bit. Uh, yeah, so uh, the smoke which y'all are seeing, that right there is only uh, coming from the muffler. I don't see any oil uh, leaking. Now, I did use a little bit of sand. This right here was days ago though. All right, so another thing what I want to check is, is I want to pop this uh, engine shroud here off. I want to make sure that there's no type of debris, I'm still gonna blow it out. Okay, cool, I don't have to uh, pop these here all the way out. Right now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, pop this air filter off. This right here has a metal uh, starting gear for the starter. So, uh, I guess it's time to see if the, oh uh, yeah, before I proceed on, replace the uh, fuel filter on here too. So like I was saying, uh, let's see if Oh, my camera is cooked. Why is that? Alright now, take two. 
Um, now we're going to see if the noob, the noob actually fix this problem. We're going to back it out of the garage, my shop, and uh, we're going to do it right now. run for about 10 minutes all right so now we're gonna fire it up we're gonna uh this right here is no choke i don't know how well y'all can see it but it's pushed all the way down we're gonna start it let's do that one again i didn't feel like that was fair Uh, so as y'all can see, the smoke just done cleared up. It's barely just a little bit there. Before I wrap this video on up and everything, give y'all a look at what we're rocking here. Muffler, it's all cleaned up. Now, this right here is what I was saying earlier, my wife had uh, pointed out, and I was trying to find this information, and uh, I didn't know where it was at. We stole the uh, craftsman seat off that piece of crap over there. Anyway, uh, something else that she pointed out, this right here. <clears throat> Let's get this wire out the way. And this right here is a 2008 model. Again, the battery is from uh, 2019. Here's more information. And uh, there you have it. Alright, uh, so that's going to wrap it up for this video um that's it got it running like i say this right here is my first time really just working on a, a small engine before and i kind of surprised myself if there's anything that i needed to do uh let me know down in the comment section below all comments welcome uh just let me know if y'all have a video that would better help me if you would, hey, I'm uh, down for that. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Peace out, and I will see you in the next video.